So what is a hypothesis? Well, it really is a statement about a population parameter or a sample statistic subject to verification. We have to go out, collect data points, analyze that and verify a question. And it is really about putting your research questions into clear perspective. Is there a difference between drug A and placebo? Is there a difference in means between patients in group A or group B? Now, prior to uh, gathering any data, analyzing any kind of data, we really must be impartial. We must be neutral. We must state that there is no difference between the effects of drug A and placebo. There is no difference between the means of patients in group A and group B. And that is what we call the null hypothesis. Now, as opposed to that, we have the alternate hypothesis or the test hypothesis. That's where we say, yes, there is a difference between the effects of drug A and placebo. Yes, there is a difference in the means uh, between patients in group A and patients in group uh, B. Now, the short explanation of this, if we have a significant level of, say, 0.05, if we find a value of larger than 0.05, we do not reject the null hypothesis. You never accept the null hypothesis. You can't prove it. You just do not reject the null hypothesis. So your statement of neutrality stands. There is no difference in the use of drug A or placebo. There is no difference in the means between patients in group A and patients in group B. If you find a p-value that's less than your level of significance, say less than 0.05, then you reject that null hypothesis and you accept the alternate hypothesis. Yes, Drug A is statistically significantly better than, than placebo. Yes, there's a statistically significant difference between the means and pa for, for patients in, in group A and group B. Now, really what happens there if we do reject the null hypothesis and accept the, the, the alternate hypothesis is just that we found a result which should not, uh, which has a low likelihood of having occurring. Remember, our results that we get or the results from a study is just one of many others. And it would be one that would occur very infrequently as opposed to ones that occur much more frequently. That's what we're after. Now, after stating the research question and hypothesis, that is when we consider the data points that need to be gathered to answer that. Not before. That hypothesis is stated beforehand, before we go out and do do collection. And we're going to get to why that is so important, especially when it comes to calculating our p-value. Then we analyze those results and we get sample statistics, which we then infer to a population so that we can use those results on the patients that we see in hospital uh, or in a clinic. Now, we've got quite a bit more to say about this alternate hypothesis. There's various ways to, ways to state your alternate hypothesis, which is very important. And I reiterate, must be done before any data collection or any data analysis.